Hello tout le monde, la vidéo d'aujourd'hui est vraiment très spéciale puisque euh, le combat que vous allez voir est extrait d'un live euh, récent que j'ai fait avec euh, Barry Anderson, puis au championnat du monde 2016, euh, champion régional cette saison, un palmarès euh, long comme le bras, l'un des meilleurs joueurs euh, euh, anglais et même européens euh, de l'histoire. C'est surtout mon coach en NPA, euh, la euh, compétition euh, communautaire la plus prestigieuse euh, dans le format officiel, alors c'est le coach de mon équipe, pas mon coach personnel pour ceux qui se euh, poseraient euh, la question. Euh, il est anglais, il ne parle pas un mot de français, donc le combat, enfin cette vidéo, elle est en anglais, donc je préférerais vous prévenir. Le coach de, de l'équipe, il est ici, si vous voulez jouer l'équipe, pourquoi pas. Oh Ooh. Ooh. Ok. Heavy heaters. So, I think what we do here is we lead Charizard and Stonjourn. We want Venusaur in the back, definitely. And I think we want Torkoal in the back as well, just in case he does get Trick Room up. So if he if he does lead with the Darmanitan, we can just wide guard and we'll be safe. Um, the the only thing we maybe can't deal with um, turn one is if he leads with uh, Dusclops, because we need the Sun and the Power Spot to be able to one shot it with Charizard. Oh. So okay. we'll, we'll see how he goes. So oh well, here we go. So we might need to flinch the um, Dusclops here then. So this is like worst case scenario. I mean, if we don't think the Rhyperior is going to protect, we can just um, max overgrowth it, but surely the Rhyperior protects here. So I'm thinking maybe an Air Slash and a Rock Slide into Tusclops. Maybe? Mm -hmm. Because then, if he does protect the, the Rhyperior, if we do get the flinch, then we can... Um... As long as we get the flinch, then that's good, because we, do, we will have done enough damage. Yeah, but if not, like we, are we, we've got more chance we, of losing if he does get trick room. Yeah, just rock uh, side. Yeah, got... yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> yeah, two chances of flinching it. The right okay. should protect here. Yeah. So there's one chance of flinch, and there's two chances of flinch. Okay, and it does over half as well, which is nice. Oh, and he does. <laughs> okay. So we've got Torkoal in the back, at least. Um, the question is now, does he Dynamax his right here yet? I see no reason for him not to target Charizard. So... And we are I mean, locked on Air Slash, so... Yeah, I mean, I think I think you've got to keep Charizard in here mm. because we need a, a free switch into Torkoal. So yeah, I would just Air Slash. And the um, white thing here is Willow Wisp, I guess. Oh, I'm not worried about that. I mean, I think this is the turn that's going to either bulldoze or brick break itself. So, what do you want to do with Stone Joiner? Um, I would just wide guard. Okay, just to not lose the focus sash. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, if it led anything but the Dust Clops, we would have been okay here. Um, normally, if, the, if there is a Dust Clops on the team, I would lead with uh, Charizard and, um, and Torkoal, because then we can swap the Torkoal into Stone Journal, um, keep the Sun boost, get the Power Spot boost, and then yeah, we can one-shot Dust Clops. But um, because he did have like a fast mode, like the rest of his team essentially was fast mode as well, um, that didn't kind of work out for us. <laughs> but Oh, it is Brick Break, okay, not okay. even Bulldoze. And I imagine this is going to be a, a rock fall, but if it isn't, then we're getting some more damage into the dust clops, I suppose. Okay, it is. Okay, that's fine, because now we can die the max our toll And with the power spot boost, a max overgrowth, I think. Oh, he's in, he's in the sand now. Hmm. I was going to say, yeah, without the sand, I think a max overgrowth with power spot one shots dust clops. Uh, one shots uh, Rhyperia, yeah. but. But we have to put Torkoal in. Oh no, we've got the sun, haven't we? Yeah, sure. Of course. Yeah, then. I'm losing my mind. Of course, Torkoal <laughs> brings us. Yeah. Okay. So I think I think we're okay. We've got a power spot, max overgrowth into Rhyperia, and we can just rock slide this turn. Wide guard doesn't do anything. Rock yeah, doesn't I don't do anything. see Super any other utility. Anything. And just in case he tries to return the, the trick room, we can try and rock slide flinch him. But he's probably going to go for like a. Um, a, uh, a, a pain split or something this turn. So yeah, just rock slide. Mm. 
My chat is afraid of what I switch. Yeah, that is the, the one thing that can screw us up here. But I mean, in situations like this, it's really hard to, to call an ally switch. I really hate to move ally switch. With it. Scops don't normally carry allies, especially on these drift room teams. But okay, okay, that was clever. If he does try and reverse the trick room, yeah, yeah we have got a rock slide so. chance. He is trying to reverse the trick room, so we need this to flinch now. Wow, that was a smart move by him. And he got oh, okay, he gets the trick room there. That's a shame, um, because <laughs> well, Tokol, Max Guard, Rockstein. I think I think we Max Guard, but then then do we? We could either Max Guard and swap Stone Journey into um, Venusaur, or yeah, I think we've got to do that. Yeah. yeah, because the only worry is that maybe he goes for. Um, and attack into Torkoal and Trick Rooms again this turn, thinking that he's going to one shot my Torkoal. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, I think I think that's okay. Yeah. yeah. Because even if if he called that and maybe attacked into the Stone Journey, we've got the Sash there, and that wouldn't be going down. We wouldn't, we wouldn't be getting a free switch into Venusaur here. So uh, I think I think this does kind of cover everything. I think he's got to target the Torkoal. Okay, that's good. Which he does, yeah. And he does paint with it. Okay, that's, that's fair. Not, yeah, that's not too bad. Because now we can energy ball and max flare into the um, Dusclops. But we have got to worry about like his Charizard potentially in the back. We have still got the Sash on Stone Journey, though. Good. But I think this turn we just do the obvious moves. Yeah, it's got. There's no reason to take a risk here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I would have been tempted to to, to double into the uh, dust clubs, but it, I think it was just always best to be safe here. I mean, I think this might one shot the um, the dust clubs from where it is as well. Yeah, it does. So we've both used up our Dynamax turns now. Okay, we're in an awkward Venusaur off now. And I'm not and sure, Paras, what will help us in this matchup. Uh... Uh, yeah, I think I think we do Heat Wave. But the question is, do we call their Iperius switching into Charizard on? Hmm. Is it or such do a great we double thing into to... the Venusaur, expecting a sack? Oh, mm. thing is, if we lose Venusaur, then Rhyperior uh, is just is just winning it by itself. So that is true, but he's he has played very defensive here. Yeah. So I would maybe just be safe, just yeah, and then you bought it. But but oh, okay, he's okay. gone for the sleep powder. So that's that's not too bad then. Because we can wake up next turn with Torkoal. He is losing his Rhyperi here. Maybe he didn't want to switch the Rhyperi out because he, he's at, at plus, plus two attack. But if he's got Charizard in the back, then the Venusaur is going to be an issue for us. I think we've still got one or two more turns of Sun. Uh, there's two more turns. And that's so going we... on in the back. Yeah, we need we need Tokol to wake up here because we need to double into the Venusaur. Stone Journey will take care of Charizard because we've got the Sash, but we just need to knock out this Venusaur now. So, um, yeah, Sludge Bomb and, and Heat Wave into it. That's really the only thing we can do. I think if we get good sleep rolls here, um, i.e., we wake up first turn, we we can win the game. But if Sto if Tokol just stays asleep, then um, I think his Charizard is just going to be able to overpower us. Yeah, I don't see any other option. Oh, that's really nice from him. Yeah. So he was... Okay, so he's won the speed tie there. 
doesn't knock us out but we because die. he's not light bulb. We are losing so really to light bulb now. So come on, talk. Fall to we HP. need you to wake up. Oh, let's yes. go! Please hit. Please hit. Please hit. <laughs> yes. Nice one. That's a okay. nice doggo. So now we're not. We haven't won this 100% because we still burn us, but um, and he could have Charty Berry. But we've got the sash intact with Ston Jonas. I cannot so use Sun. Is... There's no more Sun. Yeah, no more Sun. But we've got the sash anyway. And this is one of the, one of the extra bonuses of having Rock Tomb. It's five percent more accurate yeah. than Rock Slide, <laughs> and it will put him slower than our Ston Jonas next. So we can just. Oh, it's maxed Ston Jonas. Yeah, I'm just thinking about this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we can we can erupt here even. Yeah, yeah erupt and Rock Tomb. So it's more accurate. Makes him slower. Yeah, nice one. Oh, that's such a sad move <laughs> when you <laughs> when it's your only option in the game. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Stone Jenner pulling that. I don't think pulling we have stole it. With the, I mean, it was Torkoal the... waking up that, that yeah. did the business for us. <laughs> After the non flinches. So. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. Fair. That turn one, the the air slash and the rock slide. I I think we made the right move turn one out of making like a a hard call of. You know, swapping Torkoal in turn one, I suppose. But, um, yeah, wow, that was a close game. Comme d'habitude, je compte sur vous pour le pouce bleu pour cette vidéo qui, elle, est exceptionnelle, même si je serai amené à l'avenir, très certainement, à refaire ce genre de choses. Pas forcément avec, euh, avec base, pourquoi pas avec euh, d'autres joueurs. N'hésitez pas à me dire ce que vous en pensez dans les euh, commentaires. Allez checker la chaîne de base. En plus, en ce moment, il sort des vidéos euh, tous les jours, puis c'est l'un des meilleurs joueurs du monde. Donc, ce serait vraiment dommage de se priver. Moi, je vous retrouve demain, bien sûr, pour la prochaine vidéo euh, à 19h, comme tous les jours, ou en stream sur ma chaîne Twitch. Salut tout le monde.